السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته To carry on with the anatomy of the pelvis lectures I'm gonna discuss in this presentation the pun pelvis I'm Dr. Dalia Saleh Professor and the head of anatomy department at Mansoura University, Egypt The objectives of my presentation are First I'm gonna give you an idea about the general organization of the pelvis Then talk about its bones the articulation and finally the ligaments holding these bones together the pelvis and perineum are areas related to the hips the sacrum and the coccyx it is divided into false pelvis which lies superiorly and actually it is part of the abdomen below the pelvic inlet lies the true pelvis the most inferior part is the perineum which lies inferior to the true pelvis but separated from it by the pelvic floor and limited by the pelvic outlet. The bones of the pelvis consist of the right and left hip bones, the sacrum and the coccyx. The sacrum is an inverted triangle formed by fusion of the five sacral vertebrae. Its base articulates with the last lumbar vertebra, while its apex articulates with the coccyx. From its side view, it has two lateral surfaces. Each surface has a large L-shaped facet for articulation with the ilium of the hip bone. Posterior to the facet is a large roughened area for the attachment of the sacroiliac ligament. In this view, we can see a wing-like transverse process on each side of the superior surface of the sacrum. We call it the ala of the sacrum. Also, we can see the promontory, which is an anterior edge of the vertebral body that projects forward. The anterior surface is concave and contains four pairs of anterior sacral foramina. While the posterior surface of the sacrum is convex and it also contains four pairs of posterior sacral foramina. The sacral canal is a continuation of the vertebral canal that terminates at the sacral hiatus. The canal transmits the coda equina, which is a group of sacral and coccygeal nerves all together. The dura mater, also the arachnoid mater, and the phylum termina. While the hiatus or the end of the sacral canal transmits the fifth sacral nerve and the coccygeal nerve, and also the phylum terminal, which is attached to the back of the coccyx. The hip bone is formed of the following. Ilium, which is the largest and the most superior bone. The pupus is the smallest and the most anterior and the inferior one. And the ischium, which is the thickest and the most posterior and the inferior bone of the three. This is a medial view of the hip bone. You can see that it is irregular in shape, separated by an oblique line on its medial surface into false pelvis above and true pelvis below. The lateral surface of the pelvic bone or the hip bone has a large articular socket, we call it the acetabulum. Of course, it articulates with the head of the femur to form the hip joint. Below the acetabulum lies a big foramen, we call it the obturator foramen. In a living person, it is closed by a membrane called obturator membrane, leaving a small canal just above it to form the obturator canal. The posterior margin of the hip bone it is of course irregular and characterized by the presence of a spine, we call it the ischial spine, that projects from its posterior margin, separating the greater and the lesser sciatic notches. Inferior to the lesser sciatic notch lies a bony projection, we call it the ischial choprosity. The anterior margin of the hip bone is characterized by the presence of 
three projections, the anterior superior iliac spine, the anterior inferior iliac spine, and the pubic tubercle. For the joints or the articulations holding these bones together, first, the sacrum articulates superiorly with the last lumbar vertebra at the lumbosacral joints. And they consist of two zygabophysial joints between the articular process of the last lumbar and the first sacral piece. And they are synovial plane joints. And a median one, we call it the intervertebral disc, joins the lower surface of the body of the last lumbar vertebra with the upper surface of the first sacral vertebra. And it is a secondary cartilaginous joint. Also, the lumbosacral joints are reinforced by strong iliolumbar ligaments and also lumbosacral ligaments. The two hip bones articulate posteriorly with the sacrum at the sacroiliac joints. Each joint is stabilized by three strong ligaments. The anterior sacroiliac ligament, the interosseous sacroiliac ligament, and the posterior sacroiliac ligament. Anteriorly, the two hip bones articulate with each other at the pubic symphysis, and it is a secondary cartilaginous joint reinforced by the superior and the inferior pubic ligaments. In a living person, the pelvis is oriented as the following. The pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spines lie in the same vertical plane. Thus, the pelvic inlet faces anteriorly, while the bodies of the pubic bones and the esquipubic rami or arches face the ground. This is the medial surface of the articulated hip bone with the sacrum, and we can see that there are two important ligaments holding them together. We have the sacrospinous ligament and the sacrotuberous ligament. The sacrospinous ligament extends between the ischial spine and the sacrum, while the sacrotuberous ligament between the ischial tuberosity and the sacrum. Then, the lateral pelvic wall muscles, which cover the lateral pelvic wall, we have the obturator internus and the piriformis muscle. Then, we have the pelvic diaphragm formed of the levator ini muscle and the coccygeus muscle. I'm gonna talk in details about these muscles in the coming video. Between the muscles and the ligaments, there are pelvic wall openings, which allows the transmission of vessels and nerves. We have the obturator canal, which lies above the obturator internus muscle, transmits the obturator nerve and vessels. We have the greater sciatic foramen, transmits the pyriformis muscle and also some vessels and nerves and we have the lesser sciatic foramen transmits the obturator internus tendon and also some vessels and nerves this is the end of my presentation thanks for listening if you like it please do not forget to subscribe like and share and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know if i upload another video